Hey everybody, this is episode 21 of the Final Fantasy XII LP. This is Weird Bias, not any other name, not at all, no other names were supposed to be inserted in this place. And with me I have Zach and 8-Bit. Hello, I am, I'm Zach. Hey Zach. I'm, <laughs> I'm Medibot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're 8-Bit. Anyway. Alright, so what's going on? We're starting the hunt here. Some kids found this thief, and and is apparently Australian. He's contrite. He's trying to steal M-rated games. That dick. <laughs> Pirating them M-rated games into Australia. Basically, the hunt is some thieves yelled after this thief. And then they ran into the waterway where the thief was attacked by something called the Orthos. Orthros. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ultros. <laughs> and I assume we're going to the sewers to fight it. Yep. Of course we are. Heart of gold. Yep, the thief stole something, and then the Orthfrost stole that thing from it. The Ultros. Look at all those kids. Why are they so, like, they're just making movements, like, shaking themselves, hands. Everyone in, in the kingdom of Alabasta has Parkinson's disease. <laughs> Pretty much. This, I don't know. The hunt begins. Aw, oh, shit. Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VI seem more expressive than this game some days. All days. Yeah, most days. All days, air days. Hey, oh god, 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 oh, kites, what, what? Oh, I don't say jump hi. Cut, yeah. Jump cut, jump cut, jump cut, one. Oh god. So here's another one, and I position the camera so that we don't actually have to look at his unfortunate, you know, the thing he was named after. But anyways. <laughs> Oh my god, that was the worst joke ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, this- I like Balzac. <laughs> I like that Van's gloves are like a sneaking suit on Van's pants. Oh wow, yeah, that, that's, that sure is a reference there. You can't see him at all. No, he just doesn't have any arms. Screw you. Why? <laughs> Too many hunts. We're fighting Ringworm. Oh, jump cut, two. Ding. Oh yeah, this video. So, I started a side quest, and I don't think I've finished it like 40 hours later. Just, just warning you right now. That's fine. Zach and I started a side quest to jump, uh, to... Uh, count jump cuts. I'm pretty sure we have more than 40 hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> we have more than 40 hours worth of jump cuts. <sighs> but that's the point of the jump cuts. They save time. Jump cut. No, oh, I think that was no, just that's, loading. No, that's not fair. <laughs> no, you you take that back, good sir. You jumped from the screen you were just at to the screen now through a loading screen. Oh, shut up. Ugh, that's not fair. Zack. Zack. So what's in that bag? All of his earthly possessions. There's a male. Because he's from Arcadia. He's a mailman. He's a scientist. Mailman from Arcadia. Science filmman. <laughs> he's just full of beakers so he can study sand and puts that sand in those beakers. Who the fuck wants to study sand? Well, he's, he's studying the sandstorm and part of the side quest is to find the wind vein. Oh, and this guy talks about a cavern that we can now enter, but we're not going to. <clears throat> He's very reluctant. <laughs> yeah, because that's a place we're supposed to enter Jump at this cut. point Actually, in the game. It Jump kind cut. of is. Three. Yeah. Ding. Ding. Apparently, actually, he wasn't even a scientist. He was a philosopher. He was a mailman. So he's a mailman, scientist, philosopher. 
No, he's just a mailman. Why are you putting all this responsibility on his shoulders? He just wants to deliver the mail. You missed a jump cut, by the way. David was a mailman once. <laughs> We're at four now, and I'm doing your job for you. I, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, didn't you used to work in the Postal Service? 8-bit? I did. I did work for the United States Postal Service. Canadian Postal Service is striking at the moment, and you know what? I do not have an opinion about this. U.S. Postal Service is literally not allowed to strike because it's a government institution. This is a government institution, too. Well, your government fucking sucks. And I said hi to kites, by the way. No, it's Canada. They do what they want. Your, your government is based on jump cut pine trees. This is the Demented Merchant. He has fine blades, lots of fine blades, but they're not for sale. Well, I mean, he doesn't want to sell them to you. They're very fine. Yeah, look at- you're a little fucking kid. They're not the sale for sale for anybody, though. No, well, he doesn't want to sell them to you because they're nice. I mean, you know- That is the worst shop. Hey, everybody, come into my store, look around, touch the blades, but don't buy anything. <laughs> I got a fucking top-notch location on this shop, but, you know, I'm not doing any business. Well, I mean, he's still in business, so he must be doing something, right? I don't know. His health seems to have deteriorated, so... Jump cut. Six. Sherbert. Look at... Orange Sherbert. Sherbert. That's his name now. <laughs> Sorbet is no longer his name. It's Sherbert. It gotta be Sherbert. I, I'm, oh god, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm famished. Oh god. I hope everybody watching this episode is now hungry. I hate Sherbert, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Sherbert, Sherbert's okay. Didn't, didn't we have, wasn't there a discussion recently about this? For some reason, I seem to remember. About Final Fantasy twelve. Yeah, we talk about that a few times. I never talk about it, ever. Um... Yeah, I think we talked about Sherbert one time, sometime, recently. <laughs> it's like episode 3. So here's the story. Sherbert had a little piece of flan or like ice cream or something like that that was given to him as a ghost. <laughs> as, a ge as a little gift. And he dropped it down the sewer along with a key. And when he went to the sewer... And he wants it back? Sherbert losing his ice cream. <laughs> and then when he... There's a, there's a... Jump cut! Jump cut! Seven. God damn it! Uh, and then when he gets back, when he goes back, goes into the waterway to look for the key that he lost along with his snack, there is a flan, a monster flan, that is white as well. Racist. The social commentary. And this is a... Oh, what the fuck? The white moose. Is it gonna die in like three hits? Actually, I think I do a jump cut for this one because it it actually takes a while. Van is doing like 2,500 damage. Jesus. So I don't think I mentioned it in video, but di what disease does is your max HP is, and your current HP are are always the same. So if your current HP is, I don't know, 500, and then you're taking the 400, th that's your max HP. It changes from 500 to 400 basically. So. It's, it's mainly so that enemies can't, like, if enemies have an ability that heals them, then they can never heal past their current HP, so. Who's that red guy? That was Fan. And Larsa's dead again. Shit! God damn it! Why would you do this? Why would I do what? Heal him, and then make him party member, party leader again. <laughs> oh wait, nope. <laughs> what a great idea that was. I keep doing it. I keep forgetting I have that power. God damn, why is she leader? Because Van is uh, the, the man, and he follows around, stabbing everything. Although in this ca Wait, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Bacanatanalo's berserked, and Van is- They just like, made out and traded status <laughs> ailments. Yes, that's it exactly. For this one, there's a fun little gimmick where it won't show up unless you are a have a female party. Larsa's in the party. Larsa's in the party. Larsa is... That bloody Larsa. That bloody Larsa. He's partying hardcore, and apparently it is enough of a girl for this moose. So is Orthros just a, like... Alright, uh, Thread, I want pictures of Larsa as a girl. 
<laughs> so just Larsa. So just post a JPEG of what he already looks like, it, or whatever. And just be like, it goes both ways. <laughs> Put Larsa in the blonde wig and a tiara. So is Orthros, is Orthros a womanizer? Is that why? Apparently. He only shows up at Franass. Pretty much. I don't. I don't understand why. Why they decided to do that, but they made that the gimmick for this enemy. Yeah. This game has way too many gimmicks. This game it doesn't have that many, and they're just not very interesting gimmicks, to be honest. Vanquished. Why is everyone purple? Because they have status effects called sap. Oh shit! Jump cut. Jump cut. Eight. This eight, is eight, eight, social eight, commentary eight. on feminism. Or nine. I lost count. So we're back to the thief. Just pay attention to this bit of dialogue here. <laughs> you're, you're asking me to pay attention to the dialogue or story. You're damn right I am, you son of a bitch. Those people are still just jerking at him. Or whatever it is. Everybody's still angry at him. That girl, that girl on the right is just dancing. Weird alabasta dance moves. I've learned my lesson, so I have. But if you ever see a lonely Sikh on a street corner, no, I have to keep my dreams where they belong. You and me, it would never work out. So this Sikh, this Sikh right here is a girl. Yep, and is hitting on Van. All right, Hot. uh, Thread, I want pictures of this Sikh in lingerie. <laughs> As Larsa. The Sikh in a blonde wig. Making out with Larsa. <laughs> also in lingerie. Orthros is, you know, presiding over their marriage. Black and fragment. Well, cool. Thanks, dude. I'm sure this will come in some use at some point. This. Like, imagine if somebody just walked around, like, giving you charred pieces of, like, metal or something. <laughs> It's like, oh, you killed that monster for me? Here's a rock. Here, enjoy this rock. Hey, you did a courageous thing, you did. Here is a piece of coal. If you hold it up to other rocks, it will become a cooler rock. If you hold it up to several white stones, it will become a gray fragment. Nice. Side quest complete. I love hunts. They're so fun. Jump cut. Herbert, what's up? I like that you wait that long to jump. Well, cut. we had to. We had to go 88 miles per hour first. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh shit, Yoichibo! Oh shit. It is a very nice weapon, actually. We get to blind people now. Uh, yeah. So it turns out the key that this guy needed for Old Dallin was a spare key. Who? Old Dallin, Mr. Twink Twinkles is a, you know, puppet. Oh, that guy. So because th there was an extra, we get the we get the extra and now can open sluices and stuff in the waterway if we really want to. You can open what? Sluices, like what g gates of water. Basically. I like how it took me even longer this time. Dr. Seuss's sluices. Yeah, you go into the save menu before you can jump cut. High quality. Oh shit, buy a bubble, buy a bubble! <clears throat> bubble is a wonderful ability, by the way. Well, I mean, I do... Temporarily like gives you... Bubbles. Uh, it really helps uh, against Brock. Oh my god. Zach... We we really should have, you know, <laughs> had that other idea happen. Yeah. <laughs> a bubble will temporarily double your HP for a set period of time. Double so... bubble? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Every episode from now on is just going to be me. No, then nobody would watch it. Double the bubble fun. <laughs> Double the bubble damage. Oh god.
So, this is what you can do with the sluice gate key. You can open gates and stuff now in this waterway. Oh boy. As long as monsters do not come along and burst your bubble. Look at those circles. Those sure are circles. Oh shit, there's the number 11 waterway control. So remember how I was like, oh yeah, here's a side quest. I don't think I've done it, finished it yet. Nope. I do. Earlier in this video? I remember. Oh, guess what? This is another side quest that I'm not going to do for a very long time. <laughs> I'm just getting it ready anyways. Because I'm in the waterway. <laughs> Who needs continuity? But my LP, just... I'll, I'll get to it eventually. Well, for perspective... Well, just explain. I was going to do it now, right after this, but then I went into the optional boss in this area and got like completely destroyed even with the zodiac spear and and the uh, deathbringers so oh shit that wasn't a jump cut if you if you opened the, yeah if you uh go and try to touch that safe crystal it teleports you to the desert <laughs> oh shit what the fuck is that what the fucking fuck it's... motherfucker what the fuck also are, you're level 38 Jesus. Yeah. Thing has a ring. Yeah. Oh, it's a ba it's a Beyblade. <laughs> it's gonna battle that one. Um. Banga. No, with the, yeah. No, uh, the one Banga is going to. Holy shit! He is not losing like any health at all. Oh, I know. He the the ringworm is one of those hunts that's actually supposed to destroy you when you first get it. Like, a lot of the time, things get unlocked before they really sh should be fought, so... Because they can- because at that point, the only way you can win against the fight is to, like, game the system or f figure out its weakness kind of thing, so... He's gonna rake you. <laughs> it's because you're- it's because you drank too much and are wearing, like, showy clothes. Uh so stupid. Uh... Immobile Zega? Is that how you say that? Immobile Zaga? Immobile Why are there Era and Aga versions of, you know... Yeah, I know that. It just, it just seems kind of weird to have that as one of those spells. Basically, hey, I'm gonna cast the bolt. Uh, oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? He's dead. No, he's just sleeping. I thought you said you didn't beat him. No, it's a different boss. I was talking about another boss, the one in the waterway. I don't do for a long time. Pay attention. This is this is literally not a waterway. <laughs> well, I thought you just tell. Why are they just shaking? Yeah, I was about to make. I was about to. They're immobilized and they have sap on them. They're saps. Ah. Uh, well, it looks like we we defeated his case of ringworm on his Balzac. Oh, this is going to be known as the episode of the worst puns and jokes, isn't it? Infamous. You started it. I know, I definitely started you, it. You I'm not play. saying it's your fault, I'm, but uh, we're both contributing to this. Is this is Final Fantasy. We had an episode titled Never Would Have Geased. I don't, I don't <laughs> think we have, like, lack of puns at any point. When the fuck does Larsa leave the party? Let's LP Final Fantasy XII. What do you mean, leave the party? He never leaves the party. So he's a guest for the remainder of the game. Oh, I thought you meant, like, he had left or something. I was confused. No, he leaves eventually. It, it's just that when I'm doing all these side quests, he'll just inexplicably be there. As soon as, as soon as uh, Your Excellency Vane Solidus Snake Laguna Beach just fucking kills him. I like this music. Ah oh, shit, we got a horn. In this area, uh, this is the Zertanen uh, Caverns. Uh, the problem problem is I accidentally entered this area and did not record the little thing that says, Oh, this is the name of the location. But, he, come on, it, Z Zertanen Caverns. You can remember this. I have no idea what you're talking about. It makes me, like... So angry whenever Ash is the head of the party. I want that in a bonus video. Well, you hear me? Guess what? She's pretty much the leader for the next ten hours of the game. Twenty videos. 
Oh my god, really? Yep. Why would you do this to me? Avit hates women. <laughs> the maximized your pain. So fun fact, there's a hunt here, but the only way it shows up is by waiting for four minutes. <laughs> by standing still. Why the fuck do you jump cut? Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. We're gonna sit here for four minutes and we're gonna just talk about your <laughs> behavioral problems. <laughs> I sped up sped up it so it's only like a minute worth of time plus I did a jump cut for some of the other ex exploration and stuff I did so stop whining Jesus oh okay we're, we're going is it, uh, is it there yet? what the fuck is that Merilith snake thing dragon isn't Merilith the name of the fire like yep from FF1 and FF9 yep she seems to be giving you kisses <laughs> Oh Well, that that was that wasn't the case. She's giving you a Libra. Whoa! Oh shit! She's like two hundred dollars. She's readying her tail spear. This is a hot battle. Why is it not a snake woman? Why is it just a a a neat hog? Because they were not very creative. They didn't put that much effort into some of the hunts because they really are just reskins of other enemies you will fight normally, like. Like any of the shelled enemies, the tortoise type enemies, or bats. Like basically, let's take enemies we've designed and just increase their size. Which, I don't know, it makes sense, because the hunts aren't supposed to actually be unique, overly unique enemy beyond the way they look, so I can excuse it. If, the, if they did that for the bosses, I'd be pissed, but this is not quite the same, so... And... yep. That sure is some clipping you're doing right there, Snake. <laughs> it's trying to get away. I love how it's just flipping around in a circle that entire time. I like that it never leaves its little corner, and it just goes through walls. It, it doesn't have to ready the ability to go through walls. That's some snake. Oh shit, it's dead! Vanquished. Now, when do we fight the Lich? Never... Have a good... You know, have Ash staring at you. Lich fight us next episode. Thank you for watching. See you later. I always forget when the shit... About the end.